Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Haunted Mine, a game by the same developer as Evil Crow and Paul's Lost Remains, I believe. They did a few others. Forsaken Prison comes to mind. The developer name is Nannings, I think. Or Nannings, I can't remember. It's one of the two. Haunted Mine is a horror game that puts you in the shoes of a demolition expert who is hired to destroy an old mine. You have no clue who your employer is or what their motive is, but you don't bother to ask. You just want to finish your task and collect your reward. But as you venture deeper into the mines, you discover that something is terribly wrong. The mine is not abandoned. It is alive. And it is watching you. Here we go. I thought pretty good things about Evil Crow. He was hired to demolish a mine. Spooky. He ignored who and why. Okay. He only cared for the money. He's just like me. But he found trouble in the mine. Not trouble. The mine was living. And it eyed him. I like the way it looks so far. These soft lanterns. Kind of flashes me back to... You made it all the way down. Good. You've got a bag full of C4, but you need to place them in the specific locations. Use the device and follow the navigation arrow to find the right spots. You got it. Penumbra. That reminds me a little bit of Penumbra. Ooh, that was some frame drop. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it really doesn't like it when I take a turn. Great. You've reached the right location. Plant the bomb and move on to the next site. You got it. All right. Hmm. It must be the little effect that happens when I want to say like anti-alias or something, but I don't actually know how you would define that. I guess we'll go this way and then right. Scary. So is the mine going to be upset that we're blowing it up? Hi. Can you imagine eyeballs just popping out at you? Looks silly. I like it. Maybe it's the eyeballs. Maybe they're always just hiding and waiting to pop out at me. Ooh, maybe I should have gone that way. I can go forward and right. Hello? What the? How do I get over there? Did I- was I not just right here? socket you're lost in the maze hi you saw what eyes look at you are you sure you're not hallucinating just take a deep breath and keep moving all right okay this looks fairly short so we'll just deal with the choppiness Hello. Speaking of the Penumbra games, they're really good. There's three of them. They're each quite different from each other, but they're precursors to the Amnesia series. Which is not to say that they lead into the Penumbra- or sorry, the Amnesia series. Where the freak- what happened to me? Is that a fridge? Oh, it's a door. Oops. Hello. Oh, hi. Anyway, a lot of the things that we love about Amnesia are actually in Penumbra. They're just honed more in Amnesia, I would say. I talked about this a little bit in my Amnesia the Munker video. So some of you might have, you know, heard enough, but 
I really like the Penumbra games. I wonder how they hold up in 2024 compared to when I played them ages and ages ago. Oh, here. Okay. What? Someone's staring at you? How is that possible? You must be seeing things. Forget it. Keep going. There's one more, right? Where was the person staring at me? Or we were talking about the eyeball sill. Hey. Oh, this is funny. I'm not sure that that is how eyeballs work, though. Not the rolling, I just mean the... Half-textured balls. What an interesting sequence. I would probably think if I were doing this, like, for real... Hey. That I was inhaling gas or some kind of methane or I don't know just something and I would probably leave I mean you can't make more money if you die you know I hope it's this way but it, it, it is in fact not this way uh, uh, uh. this is very spooky every now and then I'll peek Something that slightly looms from the shadow, but it's just the light on rocks. You've done it. All the charges are set. I'm activating the countdown. Make your way to the lift. Lift, I mean, I thought I was going to say light. Stay calm and think about the money. What? Why can't you activate it when I'm out of here? <laughs> well, that's not good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, sounds good. Yep, yeah. okay. I love money. But why wouldn't you wait until the person is out? It's not like they're on a timed detonator, really. Unless you know that there's something down here that shouldn't be. You caught me again. I don't think you can do that. Hmm. Maybe we activate it and turn around. Maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just bad at games. Does this left me go left? buddy hmm I'm anticipating more eyeball shenanigans what's up with the eyeballs roaming around hi oh my god that looks cool though I do like the little tendrils all over it Oh my gosh, it's slowly counting down. I'm getting further and further away. I wonder if I'm supposed to kite it in that big open area. I think I have to go that way, my dude. Oh, my frames. Oh boy. Okay, don't drop in front of me. I just want to get out of here. Uh... But, like, what if I just did it anyway? I'm surprised that it's not a scripted drop. I mean, maybe it is, but... Oh my gosh. Those shadows popping in. Woo! Hi! So you leave and go back. What's up with that? 
Oh my god, my frames are getting real bad. Alright, I believe in me. I just have to be ready to back off. I think. I don't know! I thought I heard you from behind me, but... Hello? There's only like one way to go. Hi, buddy. Turn around. Take your little spooky tendrils and turn around. Oh my god, it's so fast when it runs away from me. I like this okay. Ooh, I take that back. You really got me. You almost got me. I would have been man. Okay, great. Thank you. But why do you leave? Give me more story. Give me more context. Oh, I only have 25 seconds. Oh, I'm so close. Let me in. Oh, there's an elevator. There was no elevator. I'm dead. Whoa. He still wondered why the mine was cursed. Even after seeing the eyeballs and not making it out? What do you mean? What did he witness down there? Oh, I guess we survived? No one believed his horrifying story. Probably because there was gas down there. I mean, why would you explode a cave shut? The pay was decent, but was it worth the nightmares? Probably. I mean... You can just buy your way into therapy, don't worry about it. I think it was fine for an experience. I think I just don't like the style of game as much, but I keep playing them because I like things about them. I think the visuals here are really good. I really like them. Um, I got, I creep myself out a bunch just with the lights shining off of rocks and stuff. I thought that was pretty good. The eyeball sequences were not the strongest part. I think just slowly meandering your way around and trying to figure out where to place stuff was the best part maybe i'm alone in that what did you think what are your thoughts and feelings what did you like what did you not like if you want to play the game yourself or leave any comments for the developers the intro page is down below otherwise that's been it for this video and i will see you in the next one bye bye